Welcome to Omniology School. The basic common sense about eating habits that we will read from today. This is a book published in September 1995 by Dr. Yang He Lee as a dialogue between teacher and student. Diet is the cornerstone of our health. This will be useful health information. The English version was provided by Omniology School. And we would appreciate your understanding that the contents of the original diagram have been omitted. 17. Organic Acids Part 3. Student. Yes, I learned something new again. Ben. Is it because modern people often drink fresh orange juice because they eat bland food? Teacher. There is a reason for that, and there is also a reason that the food is too oily. Student. Oh, Ben. Does it taste sour even if we eat fatty food again? It's really complicated. Let's think quietly. Then there is a certain equilibrium relationship between the intake of salt and the intake of calorie. Teacher. That's right. Therefore, if you eat a proper diet with a proper balance of salt intake and calorie intake, you can maintain good health without pulling too much sour food. Student. So. After all, it's not good to have a lot of sour taste, right? Teacher. Yes. A lot of sour taste is evidence of insufficient secretion of gastric acid. And it is also evidence that the diet is out of balance. Student. Yes. Now I know something. In other words, if we eat the right diet and eat the seasoning and calorie in a balanced way, we can maintain our health without the sour taste. Then, in the end, the reason we want to eat a lot of sour food is that our health is not good, right? Teacher, I can't be so conclusive. But it's a bit of a problem for adults to have too much sour taste. However, growing children require a large amount of calories, and in some cases, the help of appropriate organic acids is needed to ingest a lot of calories. So if we eat a lot of meat, we must eat a lot of new fruits, and if we eat a low-fat vegetarian diet, we do not want to eat a lot of new fruits. Student, yes, I get it. So, we have to adjust our diet so that we don't usually get too much sour. By the way, what kind of organic acid is best for us to consume? Teacher, it cannot necessarily be said that some organic acids are good and some organic acids are bad. Each organic acid has a different taste and feel, so it is better to enjoy it according to your taste. Student. In general, my opinion is that Koreans consume less vinegar than foreigners. Why don't we eat a lot of vinegar or vinegar-based sauce in Chinese or Western food? Teacher. Yes, it is true that Koreans consume less vinegar. It is not that Koreans consume less sour taste. But because Koreans eat sour kimchi all the time, the consumption of vinegar is naturally small. Student. Oh, there is a reason for that. Now that I think about it, Koreans are consuming a lot of lactic acid. You said good things about various organic acids today, but I think I know it well, but I don't think I'm holding on to something. So, in the end. Organic acids seem to play an indispensable adjustment role in our diet, but they are not staple foods or important nutrients. Teacher, you understand correctly. That is the characteristic of organic acids. After all, it is a kind of calorie that releases a very small amount of energy when absorbed into the body. But it is not important as a calorie because the original intake is small. However, it is an adjustment that plays a secondary role in gastric acid in the process of ingestion of other calories. So, if you eat it properly according to your needs, your taste will improve and it will help digestion and absorption of food. Student. Yes, I think I know for sure now. However, if the sour taste is too strong, we need to check our own calorie intake, it seems to be well organized. Thank you for your helpful words today. Then goodbye until we see you next time. Thanks for listening so far. God be with you. Basic common sense about diet conversation reading will continue.